Hi, it's Danny here. All right, I'm I'm gonna try to show the uh, next step in this HiSat protocol paper, um, the uh, part of the protocol that that um, involves using the string tie program from the command line. So I'm gonna show you what I figured out finally um, that worked um, to generate the. Uh, file that I needed. Um, I'm still working on a script that will automate the these commands to be run on uh, many files at once or from a single command line prompt so that I don't have to do it for every file. But at any rate, um, I'll kind of walk you through what I figured out here. So if I need to get up to the screen sharing, uh, yeah, okay. So I'll just kind of go back to this paper here and we can look at it. So remember this is this uh, nature protocol paper uh, um, that we've been working off of. And so the last time we were working through this, we stopped at this portion here. We were dealing with SAM tools to um, convert SAM file format to BAM format. And this was needed for use in the uh, um, integrated genomics viewer. <clears throat> but the next step here, step three, uh, I want us to assemble and quantify express genes and transcripts. So we need to assemble the transcripts from each for each sample. Okay. So it goes through and shows the command that you'd use for each of the files. Um, I'll show you what I did for one of these. Uh, we're going to stop with the step three. Um, but we're going to generate this .gtf file, okay? So what I've done, and it's already in, but I'll show you here. Or maybe I'll just copy and paste it again. Okay, so we're going to copy and paste this command string that starts with string tie, okay? So I'm going to just command C, copy that. Okay, and I've already got things loaded in. I've, I'm in the right directory in my terminal, and I'm um, down. I have downloaded string tie and all the binary files and executables. So I'm simply going to paste this in. Okay, but <clears throat> this is what took me quite some time to figure out and it ended up I figured it out because I just actually I'll show you here okay so this is cut and pasted out of the uh, protocol paper okay so it says reference file not found okay so I forgot one thing I'm already in I don't need to I've already got this chromosome x.gtf file in so I don't need the path for that and now watch okay so see this reference input file input file cannot be found okay well what the hell I've got the file in there um, but I kept getting this error so what I finally did is and this is important you do this all the time I just copied and pasted this put it in to Google and see, I'll show you here. I just copied and pasted it into Google and then added a little string tie error to the end of that. First thing found, input file not found. I read through this and this person said, hey, this error may be due to strings error in the script options. I do suffer the same problem while I copied the script directly from article and pasted it into the terminal. Name of output prefix hyphen lowercase l is an error. But if you use hyphen l 
like this, it works. So the length of the hyphen somehow, when you copy it from the paper and put it in, is, is not recognizable by the program. So what I did is I just put it in, okay, and then I, I rewrote that hyphen L, okay? And now it works. Magic. But the other issue I think that I found was in the paper, the f I think the font of the, uh, the text in the paper makes this hyphen L look like a hyphen one. So that's another potential issue. That's hyphen lowercase L, not hyphen number one. But once we do that, the, the command works. And if I look inside of my directory now, you can see that I've generated this um, .gtf file for that single um, uh, alignment. And then I'm going to have to do this for you know all of them. But anyways, I figured that out. Took some time. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways. That's about it for now. That is string high step three in the protocol paper.